Final minute of the first. Oh, short elbows from Covington that cuts on Ying. Big Bad. time. More big shots. Fight back, fight back, fight back. Yeah. Colby Covington wins his UFC debut. Pacing, positioning, takedowns. A lot of weapons there from Covington. Wagner Silva, we may be looking at a rear naked choke here. Oh, it gets worse here, yep. And there it is, another finish for Colby Covington. Got it right underneath the neck, then switched to full rear naked, got the hand and wrist behind the head, and Wagner Silva just almost didn't even defend there. Beautiful stuff there from Covington. He's definitely put the beat down on him. And you know, the referee could easily stop this fight as For well. Sure. Because Max Griffin is not really offering up any intelligent offense. Especially right here, Joe. And he might. Stop, stop. Mark Smith stops the fight. Colby Covington earns the TKO. First fighter to the scale, the man around whom this fight car was built. Former UFC welterweight champion, the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. 171, the official weight for T. Wood. 171 pounds, the official weight for Colby Covington. And finally, our welterweight main event between two of the division's top five, the former interim champion Colby Covington versus the former undisputed UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley. When sport is simply sport, Rivalries are formed out of respect. Yet in a rivalry made of bad blood, respect is the first thing to go. Tension lives in the air. Things are personal, and the facts carry the same weight as the punches. No one in this division can stay with my pace. I'm gonna get that bell sooner or later, mark my words. Tonight, it's the fight that had to happen. Two top flight welterweights with unsettled business at hand. The hostilities are real. The action is fast and furious. And the war of words is set to boil over. Live from the Apex Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's UFC Fight Night, Covington versus Woodley. And it starts right now. Ah, yes, good evening to you and yours from one of the greatest cities in the world. We are in historic Las Vegas, Nevada, where the UFC has continued to bang out live events at a furious pace. Yeah, I mean, when you look at Tyron, you got to think of everything that he has with the power. But then with Colby, he's a numbers man. Instead of one at a time, he throws four or five, six, shoots a double, it comes back up. Yeah, and for Tyron Woodley, he's got all the skills, the wrestling, the brutal power in that right hand as he's holding up right there. You see it against Darren Till. He's got the submission skills. He's a black belt in jujitsu now. Woodley is a plus 280 underdog right now. And the buzzword from his coaches, Dean Thomas Duke Rufus, has been hesitation, namely in his last two fights. There he is, the former interim champ, Colby Covington, this man sets a pace that few men can keep up with. He is now training under the underrated MMA Masters group down in Miami. The chosen one, Tyron Woodley. Now, some have suggested his last two performances were a bit listless. Well, T. Wood has vowed to let the hands go early and often tonight. There's bad blood. And then there's the kind of bad blood that exists between Colby Covington and Tyron Woodley. The welterweight division at American Top Team was insane. Colby Covington had to develop a character and develop an image because he had no attention. Anything that comes out of Tyron Woodley's mouth, you can't believe. You know, he's just faked. He's just always looking for clout. He's always begging for attention. You know, Woodley sat out for what, 13 months. The new interim welterweight champion. Oh, I can't fight. I gotta hurt Pinky. Maybe you should go take an Advil, bitch. Now he's talking all that shit. Oh, oh, he tagged him. Big shot. He gotta live up to it. Tyrone's been avoiding me because eight years ago when he brought me in to train, he knew I was going to be the one to put the nail in a coffin. So destiny has arrived. The whooping that he going to get from me is going to make him want to never fight again. Former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley making the walk for his 15th UFC appearance here tonight. He wants his name included with the greatest welterweights of all time. To prove not only himself, but just you can tell he's fighting for a whole lot more. We've seen it all week, right? This man is determined tonight to go out there and make a statement.
the pace, the pressure, maybe the best cardiovascular system in the entire promotion, and he figures to need all of those tools tonight against the former champ, T. Wood. Tyron Woodley is 38. Covington, the taller man by a couple of inches. Two inch reach advantage though, with the former undisputed king of the welterweights, Tyron Woodley. It's time! Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley! Chaos Covington! Right, guys, why don't you build my commands at all time? Why don't you protect yourselves all the time? If you got any questions? You got any questions? Want to touch gloves? No. Oh, nothing yeah, quite like it. Only take down attempt for Covington, yeah. and he grounds Woodley. You know, you can train it, you can always make it better, but you are, some people are blessed with it. Good get up by Woodley. He didn't rush that, he took his time, and he went step by step. Nice! Beautiful body kick from Covington. Covington closes the distance, plans a big right hand. Oh, wow, big elbow there. And now a left hook partially grazes the chin of Woodley. Right, we, need to, we need to touch him a little bit more, okay? We, we need to start going down to his body. You got to right? more with that, that left hand, okay? That knee, that knee to his body hurt him. We don't like them body shots. So for Tyron, it's just, there you go. He's got to do more of that. He's got to get on the front foot and move Covington onto the back foot. Yes. And I'm told that flying knee did not land. That elbow did partially. Yes. And Woodley has landed just eight significant strikes unofficially thus far. That should add to the total. Body kick from Covington. Oh, big right hand from Covington. Left hand kick to right hand. Nice. nice combo back and forth there between these guys. I want you to pay attention when you go back. When you're pressuring, pay attention to your right hand. You have to block that. Okay? Pettis style. Left high kick by Covington, okay, and then here we a one-two down around. the middle. Textbook. Yeah. We'll see if close Covington pull. tries to change the levels. You got to close your finger. Time. Yeah, I don't think Colby thought it was an eye poke. So when you're in striking dishes, just do me a favor. Keep them closed. You're both doing the same thing, but just keep closed the striking yeah. dishes. Super eye poke. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Timekeeper, time in. All right, back underway here, early round three. He wants to. You can see it in his face. Yeah, he does. He's mad now. But it is hard to get a hold of Kobe, too, but I know for sure on the ground. And I agree there a lot more. There's a lot more than that. T. Wood, Colby Chaos. That's the kick. His coach has asked for that to the head and that to the body, and that one landed. Level change from Covington here. Nice. High crotch dunk. Oh, nice elbow there. All right, now Colby just hammering the body. Get your fingers out of the yeah, game. Yeah, was, was it an elbow? Must yeah, elbow. that big elbow yeah. that Covington landed. Oh, right from Covington. And now Woodley closes the guard. Another elbow there from Covington. I'm gonna be straight with you. The only way you're winning is if you stop this guy. So you gotta, you gotta put your combos going, double triple jab right away. Another elbow here on the other side. Mm. So both sides of the eyes are sliced. Let's see what Woodley wakes up in this fifth and really Final brings round, it. Final round, gentlemen. But this is a prime and primal Colby Covington. He's got to turn to the left, not towards the fence, if you're Woodley to get that yeah. team. Oh, something happened. Time, time, time. That's it. But there can be little doubt that Colby Covington is one of the best welterweights on the planet. You're next, fake newsman. You're next. You two streets to his mouth at all. Yeah, well, let's take a look here. I mean, it was just pretty much a dominant nonstop four-round performance here, or fifth round. Something happened here. To Tyron Woodley's ribs, we won't know until he has some images done. Ah, 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 That's it. Ah, Don't no, no, be, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Call me, chaos. Call me. I want my belt back. Marty Fake Newsman, Street Judas. We got unfinished business. There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. I'm coming for you. You're next! What were your thoughts on that fight overall? Yeah, you know, this was a fight that I, listen, Usman versus uh, Colby's one of the best fights I've ever seen. This fight had that type of potential if that Woodley showed up. He didn't. Dana, uh, did the president call Colby? He did. Do you have any idea what they talked about? The fight. 
<laughs> so the president was watching it. Oh, yeah. No, I knew he was watching tonight, yeah. Has Colby become uh, a factor in the rating? Does he, to use your phrase, push the needle uh, now? I mean, is, is his persona such that when he fights, it, it has an uptick in the ratings? No matter what, what you think of Colby personally, you cannot deny that the kid's one of the best in the world. Right. He's one of the best fighters on the planet. What do you think happened to Tyron? Because it, before, when he fought Darren Till, he was explosive. He, he dropped him. And then it's like he just completely went gun shy. What do, yeah. you, what do you attribute that to? Is it injury? Is it age? Why, why has he suddenly become this guy who's afraid to throw? I, I don't know. Listen, we all, we all get older, man. It happens, it happens to the best of us. But Woodley's had a good career. He's, he's been a champion. He's, you know, he's been around here for a while. Had a good run in strike force too. Twice you've mentioned that Woodley has had a great career in this press conference. Are you insinuating that he should hang it up? Did you just get here? <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. Yeah, I, that's what I said when this thing started, that, yeah, he, he should probably start thinking about it. Colby, congratulations on a, on a very dominant victory from start to finish. Uh, just grade yourself. Overall, how did you feel about your performance versus what you expected in there tonight? Yeah, that was the worst decision he ever made, showing up to fight me. Almost worse is, is him not getting a prenup with his last ex-wife. As far as tonight goes, uh, kind of ended in a weird way. Didn't take away from the fact that you were well ahead on the cards. Um, the injury, do, do you know exactly what, what happened there? You know, that's why he's been running me for so many years. I've been calling him out for five, six years now, and this is exactly why I was calling him out, because I knew I would do this. And no one's broken, no one's finished him, so don't take away from my finish. He got knocked out, he got broken tonight, just like I said I was going to do and retire him. What did the president say to you during your call? He just is so excited for me. He wants to see me fight for the belt again and, and bring him a new belt to the, the Oval Office. You know, I'm the only fighter in the history of this sport to go to the office to go to the Oval Office in the White House and give a world championship belt to a sitting president. So, you know, it only makes sense that I'll be the second fighter to do it. What does your post-fight celebration look like tonight? Ooh, a lot, of, a lot of mamacitas, a lot of cardio being worked on. You know, I'm always in training, so I got to keep getting better. I got to get back to the bedroom cardio and get ready for my next fight.